The Sukhoi 47 Burka was an experimental supersonic jet fighter developed by the JSC Sukhoi Company. A distinguishing feature of the aircraft was its forward swept wing that gave the aircraft excellent agility and maneuverability. The Sukhoi 47 was originally built as Russia's principal test for composite materials and sophisticated fly-by-wire control systems, as well as new airframe technologies. The wings experience higher bending moments, leading to a tendency for the wings to fail structurally at lower speeds than for a straight or aft swept wing. The forward swept wing configuration was ultimately not pursued because it was mainly advantageous at transonic speeds, while an aft swept wing was superior at supersonic speeds. The Sukhoi 47 is of similar dimensions to previous large Sukhoi fighters, such as the Sukhoi 35. To reduce development costs, the Sukhoi 47 borrowed the forward fuselage, vertical tails, and landing gear of the Sukhoi 27 family. Nonetheless, the aircraft includes an internal weapons bay and space set aside for an advanced radar. Like its immediate predecessor, the Sukhoi 37, the Sukhoi 47 is of tandem triple layout with canards ahead of wings and tail planes. The Sukhoi 47 has two tail booms of unequal length outboard of the exhaust nozzles. The shorter bomb on the left-hand side houses ECM system, while the longer bomb houses a rear-facing radar. The Sukhoi 47 has extremely high agility at subsonic speeds, enabling the aircraft to alter its angle of attack and its flight path very quickly while retaining maneuverability in supersonic flight. The Sukhoi 47 has a maximum speed of Mach 1.6 at high altitudes and a 9 grams capability. The forward swept midwing gives the Sukhoi 47 its unconventional appearance. A substantial part of the lift generated by the forward swept wing occurs at the inner portion of the wingspan. This inboard lift is not restricted by wingtip stall and the lift induced wingtip vortex generation is thus reduced. The ailerons the wing's control surfaces remain effective at the highest angles of attack and controllability of the aircraft is retained even in the event of airflow separating from the remainder of the wing surface. A downside of such a forward swept wing design is that it geometrically produces wing twisting as it bends under load, resulting in greater stress on the wing than for a similar straight or aft swept wing. This requires the wing be designed to twist as it bends opposite to the geometric twisting. This is done by the use of composites wing skins laid up to twist. The plane was initially limited to Mach 1.6 because the forward sweep was primarily beneficial at transonic speed. While losing out to aft swept wing at supersonic speed, it was not further pursued. The Sukhoi 47 differed from its contemporaries in more advanced characteristics and was practically approaching the fifth generation. But the main feature of this aircraft is the reverse sweep wing. If the majority considers the Koas simply as a stylish detail, which of course gives the aircraft an unusual look, then the experts have more reasoned justifications. Immediately after the war, we began to investigate the Koas in our country. For example, in 1947 a glider was created with a Koas and a powder booster which reached a speed of 1,150 kilometers slash. Similar experiments were carried out by both domestic and foreign designers.